Looking at the screen, we see gameplay from someone playing a video game, but it is not a human playing this game. This is a software I wrote that is playing the game for me. Not touching the keyboard, not touching the mouse. Magic. Now, this is a programming project I was hesitant to make a video about because, you know, hacking or botting is a bit of a shady subject. But I decided to share this because this is quite a fascinating programming challenge. This bot takes the same tools I have as a player, and with that plays the game like any other human would. I didn't make this program with the purpose of gaining an advantage, it was simply a challenge that seemed very hard to solve, so I just had to do it. Now, I will talk a little bit about the ethics of botting at the end of this video, but now I want to talk about the art of programming this fascinating software. So to start, let's talk about an analogy to kind of explain how I got here. Many years ago, I built these LEGO robots. Man, that was some good times. You could attach motors, sensors, and program the LEGO robot to perform a task. Navigate a maze, move an object. This was so much fun. With that said, this program I built is pretty much doing the same things. Think of the player as a robot, and with components such as vision, we can try to make the robot navigate the world. Just like a LEGO robot, but in a fantasy land with monsters. I find this incredibly interesting. So let's talk about this side project, my own game bot. MapleStory is a pretty basic game, you can uh, hit stuff, walk around and hit other stuff. Now going into this project, I wanted to see if I could build a bot that would play exactly how I would play the game. So let's break down what I'm actually doing when I'm playing the game. There are some monsters around. That's bad, we need to get rid of them, so I have a decision. What monster do I want to hit? Obviously, it's probably smartest to hit the one closest to the player. So, I walk up to the closest monster and bonk it in its head until it dies. And then we just repeat this until I get bored. Now, if you wanna get more complicated than that, there are probably cases where it's a better idea to go to monsters further away, if, for example, there is a lot more monsters on a platform above. Also, let's not talk about ladders at the moment, because navigating that is a challenge I haven't looked into. But man, it would be cool if it could traverse such a landscape. So basically, that's how I as a human play this game. I look at the situation, I make a decision, and then I go. This is exactly what my program does. But instead of using my brain, I'm using code. <laughs> Using image recognition, my software can find the positions of the monsters on the screen. With this information, I can figure out what is the closest monster to the player. Let's say we wanna attack this monster. Well, what do we do first? First, we should check if the monster is close enough for the player to attack it. If not, then we will walk towards it. But how does it know what direction to walk? Well, that is pretty simple. If the X coordinate of the monster is higher than the player's X position, the right arrow will be pressed down, making the player walk right, or if the X position is lower, then we will walk to the left using the left arrow. Okay, let's check again. Is the player close enough to the monster that we can attack it? That is when the attack button is pressed. This is a debug view that gives me information of what the bot is doing, and as you can see, the frame rate is really bad. It is a mix of poor code optimization, but also image recognition can be a time-consuming programming task. Even though the bot makes decisions about every half a second, it seems to be relatively accurate enough. Sometimes the player completely misses an attack, but that's fine. If I could improve the performance, then basically the more accurate the bot can perform. Attacking and moving is not the only thing this program does. If that was the only thing I did, well, my character would eventually die from taking hits too many times. I need to implement auto-potting, and a simple solution to that is to sample a pixel on the health bar. If the color is gray, well, that means we should heal, or use a mana pot. It's not harder than that. That is currently all this program does. It is logically at the moment pretty simple, but it plays almost exactly like any other player would play the game. If someone saw me running around with this, they would probably think, Oh, that's another human running around. Hello, fellow human. But little did they know it's a robot. <laughs> MapleStory is a pretty grindy and tough game. And I think the fun part about the game is overcoming these hard obstacles. Now, let's say I took advantage of using this software to advance my character without any effort. I believe I would get quite bored of the game pretty quickly. Because the point of the game is the journey, it's not about the goal. 
The most fun part about the game is meeting other people who are also trying to overcome the hard challenges this game throws in your face, together with the friends you meet along the way. With that said, the purpose of building this project was not to get an advantage over other players. I saw a hard challenge that I wanted to see if I could solve, and with that said, I will not release the source code or this program. And no comment will change that. Because I want you to also have fun in the game. You are welcome. Now, it took me about a day to get this project together. I haven't used Python in like two years, but the longer you have programmed, switching programming languages or learning how to use new libraries is just a part of the fun. Now, I do not condone anyone to hack or bot video games, especially if it's at the expense of someone else. I will not be using this software on any character I intend to play with because I don't want to ruin the experience for me or anyone I'm playing with. I hope I made it clear that this was just an interesting challenge. I did it for science. Alright. Oh, he won't! He won't! Ah! Oh, I missed. Come on, hit them, hit them! Yeah, in the face! Haboom! Haboom! Come on! No, what are you doing?